the Maya Prabhu Shram is so powerful that it capitalizes on your entire brain. You cannot function properly. So Ram understand this is my Maya at work. You see, the Lord shows his power. And unless one is humble and devoted to the feet of the Lord, you can't escape that man, regardless who you are. Even Brahma and Shiva can't escape that. So he's saying here, Bole bihasi Ram umridubani. With a smile on his face, Lord Sri Ram addressed her how? Mridu Bani. In gentle words, very soft words. He is not excited about anything, but his calm tells a certain big story. And she realized that from that moment, <laughs> something is wrong. He is not excited to see her. And she realized it. From that moment, she realized something is wrong. So in this Shobai, this last Shobai, before you do what to see that tells us. And one has to understand the power of Prabhu Shriram. Look how Shriram reacts in this situation. And Sri Ram told her his name and that of his father. Now long ago, in, when people greeted each other, this is how they greeted them. My name is so-and-so. My father is so-and-so. I came from this lineage. It was a practice long ago. So very reverently, Sri Ram, with greatest respect and honor, he, he did not in any way make her feel embarrassed. But very respectfully, put his hand together. He says, my name is Shiram, or whatever Ram, my father is Raja Dasra. And, Kahe Ubahori Kaha Brikakehi Bipina Akeri Fidabu Kehi Hetu. He then asked her, he said, where is Shiva? <laughs> She's stunned, you know. They say that he stood in, he stood in his boots and he wondered. <laughs> she is wondering how come he knows where is Lord Shiva and Bipin Akeli Firabu Kehi. I am wondering why are you alone in the forest? <laughs> why are you wandering alone here? So immediately she, he makes her up and she knows that that her trick didn't work at all. Nothing. Completely failed. Right? Why are you wandering alone and where is Lord Shankar? So that put to rest something. So I finished my lesson this morning, my God, in this Lohar to see that things. How does she feel? 
Next week. Let's do a tootsie dance. She was utterly discomforted when she heard Upaja Ati Sankot was good, middle good. She, you know, Sri Ram is so comfortable and cool, beautiful words, he addressed her. But she became very uncomfortable when she heard these gentle words. She knows for a fact that she has been put in the open. What to do? Sati sabhi tamahesh apahi chali hridai bad sochu. She turned towards Shiva. Well, in that direction. With a feeling of awe. Awe could mean like something, an overwhelming feeling of reverence or admiration. But that awe could also mean an overwhelming feeling of fear. In this case, it was this kind of fear because she was caught red-handed. She turned out Shiva with a feeling of awe and she was much chali hridai but she was much dejected at heart. She became very confused at heart because she was worn. She was worn by Shiva. And because of her, this type of nature that she had, she didn't listen to him. And she would be thinking all of that. This is only part of the revelation. But there is much more that Sri Ram revealed to her to make if she was not if she had any speck of doubt at this point in time, what he reveals in the next show by removes completely all the doubts that she would ever have. And it tells the world at large that this is not just an ordinary man. You see, Tusi Das is so powerful in penning this Sri Ram trait manas that this, what is written here, from time immemorial, still captures the heart and mind of people. So many thousands of years ago, but yet still, its originality is here, and it will remain from yesteryear, years to come. It's the literature of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It is evergreen. It will always be like that. We have been reading this from time immemorial. Grandparents, great grandparents, great great grandparents. And when we read it today, it is still as fresh and evergreen and pertinent to today's life. Everything. And it will be pertinent for all times. Because Sanatan means eternal, everlasting. This is eternal truths. Always will be eternal. And whatever time it is read, whatever place it is read, it contains the same truth, it, the same, it, it, it captures the mind at all times. And that is the power of Sri Ram Manas. So next week, what, uh, what revelations he made to her, and that will seal for all times the power 
and God will produce it all. Prem se bolo siya bolo ramachandra bhagwan ki shay. So next thing.